Hello everybody. So today I'm going to do a tutorial about Google Chrome and autofill. Do you ever wonder where everything that you type in on Google Chrome stores itself? I know you can go to the account manager in order to find your passwords or um, your voice activity or your location history, but anything that you type into boxes like free willy, what happens to those things that you type into the boxes or even uh, in any search bar? What happens to the websites that you search? Well, today I'm going to show you that. And it's called Chrome URLs. It's like a back door to um, Google Chrome. So you got all these things right here. And I haven't really gone through, well, I mean, I have kind of looked in them, but not really all of them. I know the flags, you can like basically pick which um, options you want on your, which options you want enabled on your uh, browser for your phone. But basically, over here, you want to go to the sync internals. And it's going to bring up this folder. And just for the tutorial purposes, I made a username and an email. And it has the date. So this is basically the little folder. And then I really haven't messed with any of these tabs, but I guess that's the... Tells you how many things are synced, how many sessions you have, or whatever. I don't really understand all that, but I go to Sync Node Browser, and it brings up this here. And I'm going to start from the bottom and go up, because the top is the most exciting. So if you've ever put any um, wallet information into your browser, and these are like little folders, and you have to like kind of click on them a couple times to get them to open up. But if they point downwards like that, that means it's open and there's nothing in it. And then over here you can see all the information. So typed URLs. And you have to be logged into Google Chrome in order for anything to show up if there is anything. So that one's open and there's nothing in it. Sessions. I can't seem to get it to work. Okay, there we go. So it'll tell you the device that is used, the date, and then each of the um, websites that were gone to for that particular session. And it does it for all of them. You just click on each one and then the information on the right-hand side changes. And you can close the folder back up. I really don't know what priority preferences are. Passwords, it never shows the passwords. They show up as encoded, but you know that Google stores those for you and they have those for you in your account manager. Do not know what that one is. Nothing ever shows up in there anyway. Don't know what that one is. History delete directives, favicon tracking. Really don't know what that is. Don't know what that one is. Don't know what that one is. Device information. Basically, every device that you log on with this email address or this Gmail address, it will tell you what device you use. And of course, you can scroll over to the right and see what time, what date, and the device used, and the server, and all that other good stuff. And then the bookmarks, it'll show you all your bookmarks. And there's your autofill wallet. Now here's the good spot. The autofill profiles. If you have any autofill profiles, um, autofill profile is like if it automatically fills in your information for you every time you go to another website. And then autofill, that's the favorite folder of mine because anytime you type in anything, it remembers your entries. And that right there is usually fill up here. I'm going to go log out of my Google Chrome just to show you. I'm going to I mean, I'm gonna log into my Google Chrome just to show you 
how much information it stores. So I'm going to sign it back into my regular email. Okay, and this is just going to do a little refresh. I'm not going to show you what's in there. I'm just going to so go back over to Sync Node Browser. It's refreshing. Now here's the autofill. And this is how much information goes in there. Open sucker. That's how much information goes in there. Let's just see something I typed in. My birth date. That's how much information goes in there. So if anything's ever been typed in there, there would be an autofill profile for my credit karma. A phone number. Autofill wallet. Now, um, see the passwords they show up as encrypted. But it stores them all like that. And then the sessions, and then see every device used, every device used in the that's synced. Now, once you go to your Google account management and clear that data, it will clear, and then all the URLs you've been to. So that is your Google Chrome synced internals tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll try to answer them for you. Have a great day.